look at number one. So it says 1a plus 5a. So the thing here is whenever we're adding fractions, we can always, we always need to add fractions when we have the same denominator. If we don't have the same denominator, we need to change it to the same denominator. But here we already have the same denominator, which is 8. So we leave the 8 alone. So it stays even in the answer. It doesn't change. Then we just need to add the top part. So 1 plus 5 is 6. And this can be simplified because 6 is divisible by 2 and 8 is divisible by 2. So 6 divided by 2 is 3 and 8 divided by 2 is 4. Now, this can be more simplified because both numbers don't have a common number that both can be divided by so that they are simplified. So, simplified, this is 3 fourth or 6 eighth. Um, let's look at number 3. Same thing, 4 twelfth plus 5 twelfth. And same thing, the denominator stays the same, it doesn't change. So we just see, oh, 4 plus 5 is 9, so this would be 9 twelfth. And if we simplify, this is divisible by 3, and 12 is divisible by 3. So 9 divided by 3 is 3, and 12 divided by 3 is 4. So this is also 3 fourth. Let's look at number 9, lastly, 4 eighth plus 2 eighth, same thing, the denominator stays, and we just add 4 plus 2, which is 6. Both are divisible by 2, which, once again, we get 3 fourth. Right here. Okay, let's go to the second page. Now we're just multiplying. Let's look at number 1, 142 times, we have 16. So 2 times 6 is 12, we add that 1 here. 4 times 6 is 24, 24 plus 1 is 25. We add the 2 here, 1, plus, 1 times 6 is 6, 6 plus 2 is 8. Now we're moving on to the second digit, so we add a 0 placeholder. 2 times 1 is 2, 4 times 1 is 4 and 1 times 1 is 1, and we can add a placeholder here so we don't get confused. So 2 plus, two, two plus 0 is 2, 5 plus 2 is 7, 8 plus 4 is 12, and we can add the carrying here, and 0 plus 1 is 1, and 1 plus 1 is 2. So 142 times 16 is 2,272. Um, let's go ahead and look at number, let's look at number 9, 684 times 12, so 4 times 2 is 8, 8 times 2 is 16, we can add that one here, 6 times 2 is 12, 12 plus 1 is 13. We add that placeholder here because we're moving on to the second digit. 4 times 1 is 4, 8 times 1 is 8, and 6 times 1 is 6. Now we add these, 8 plus 0 is 8, 6 plus 4 is 10, we can add the 1 here. 1 plus 3 is 4, 4 plus 8 is 12. Once again we add the carrying, 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 plus 6 is 8. So now we know that 684 times 12 is 8,208. Moving on to the next page. So now it wants us to find the quotient. So it says, let's look at number 1, 56 divided by 4. 56 divided by 4. So we will show our work. So 4 goes into 5 one time. So 4 times 1 is 4. So in that case, 5 minus 4 is 1. We bring down the 6. And then we know, oh, 4 times 4 is exactly 16. So now we know that the answer to 56 divided by 4 is 14. 
Same thing, let's go here, 84 divided by 3. 84 divided by 3. So, how many times does 3 go into 8? So, 3 times 1 is 3, 3 times 2 is 6, 3 times 3 is 9. Oh, that's too big. So, 3 goes into 8 two times. So, 3 times 2 is 6. 8 minus 6 is 2, and we can't leave that alone. We have to bring down that 4, so which is 24. And we know that 3 times 8 is 24. So, with that result, now we know that 84 divided by 3 is 28. Okay, last page. Let's scroll down. So, let's look at number one. Jane goes into a store and orders a total of total of 85 blue and green balloons. Blue and green balloons for her daughter's birthday. However, she wants 25 more green than blue balloons. So, how many balloons of each color will she take home? So, she wants 25 or more green than blue colors. So, in total, we have 85 blue and green. So, first of all, we have to subtract this like this. So, now we know that the 25 more green that she wanted. So we know that there's 60 if we subtract 25. So according to that, it would be 60 balloons that are blue. And um, she wants 25 more green. Okay. So, 60 balloons of each color. So, in that case, we multiply. Oh, I think, okay. Oh, looks like it's not working. Okay, let's try again. Let's try the different. Okay, let's look at this instead. Let's just look at number four because somehow it's not letting me write. A bus can carry 48 passengers. How many buses will needed will be needed to carry 120 passengers? So we know that one bus can carry 48 passengers. 48 passengers. So we want to know how many buses we can write X for buses can carry 120 passengers passengers so to do that we have to cross multiply like this so that would just be 48 times x equals 1 times 120 and after we do this <clears throat> We divide this by 4.8, or 0.8, or sorry, not 4.8, 48. We cross this out. <clears throat> so we're left with 120 divided by 48. And if we divide it out, we get the answer 2.5. 2.5. So, at least three, because we can't split a bus in half, so we know that at least three buses will be needed. Three buses will be needed. And half of the last bus, we know that. Half of the last 